Ah, oh, there's the last Arenaria. Ah, uh, alchemy. So now we can make Spectre Oil. Great. We fixed your problem. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. Well, I hope she uh, gets out of that. I'm gonna need that coin, sorry. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a Witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. So that's it, okay. So he mentioned the herbalist, I would say again, but uh, more be uh, also. So let's check out where that herbalist lives. Oh. That's a way to greet someone. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Ooh. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night, she was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Yes, we do. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Maybe we can do something? Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But... Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes, a peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her a swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Okay, looking. She's willing to take that risk, apparently. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm bottom of the river where the channel's widest but you do know that once out of the water it'll stink worse than a weak old carcass counting on it I'm hunting the griffin need the buckthorn for bait I was thinking a few years ago we had trouble drowners under the bridge a whole village had to pitch in for a witcher who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head Captain Peter Sars something something ah good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare that sounded slightly sarcastic. Doesn't seem like a nice Doubt guy. Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise, you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. That was a bit of a tease. So I'm gonna do the on that bed quest real fast, because I will then have access to the swallow potion. So let's see what we need for that. Let's see. Swallow. Oh, I need a drowner's brain.
Ooh, this is moly arrow. Don't mind if I loot all of you. I didn't see anything. It's a drowners. I'll probably see a few drowners when I try to get that puck to them. So let's try that first. So I'm guessing if I walk along the shores a bit, I'll come across a few. Ah, there we are. Winds howling. Okay, the other one disappeared apparently. What are they doing? Wow, okay. That was my entire shield. Okay, not doing much, are we? Okay, this seems to be a bug. Because they're not doing anything. Oh, come on, just give me a bit of a challenge. Okay, that did the trick. Oh, now we have a fight. Or sort of. Okay. There we go. And there we have the drowner's brain. There also seems to be a hidden treasure. Dive. Locked key required. Okay then. That was extremely easy. Oh, come on. Okay. Temerian valuables. Read the document you found. What did we find? Blood-soaked military orders. To whom it may concern, by order of the Legion commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenford, where they will find the Redanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Temerans, they are under special protection and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. 
Randall Wittgenberg. Okay then. And what does that mean exactly? Find a lost American treasure using your Witcher senses. I'll keep that in mind, but first we're gonna go back to the on that bad quest and brew ourselves a new potion. Swallow. Oh yeah. The swallow is probably the most simple and useful potions at the same time because it's actually a healing potion. Mm, okay. So that's great. So now all we have to do is bring that back to the herbalist. So I'm guessing that if I okay, cheat the weapon, thank you. No, cheat the weapon. Nice ass, Tomira. Yes. I have your potion. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Or just fitting as names go. Swallowing we'll something. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Works on me immediately, but I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. You're welcome. Oh, we leveled up. Great. What else did we get? Two hundred and eighty experience points and fifty grants. Oh, nice! So I'm really doubting which way I should go with this build. Um. Oh, okay. Because I maybe I should explain this first. So we have three trees we can go into. We got the combat tree, the sign tree, and the alchemy tree. Each tree has its own color, being red, blue, and green. And you can add those abilities in these slots, and then at that moment they will be applied to your character. So you can unlock abilities without them actually being applied to your character. Uh, each ability that is equipped also boosts the mutagen you can put in the slot next to those three other slots and that slot that mutagen is boosted its effect is boosted uh, based on what sh what skills what abilities you have equipped in the slots next to it when the colors match that ability is multiplied by the number of abilities that are added here so if you now this uh, mutagen has 50 vitality, if I add an ability from the alchemy tree, that mutagen will add 100 points to my vitality. But for abilities, I was thinking to go in signs mostly, because they help out the most, especially in the beginning, to get to the, the Quen damage absorption, which I want to, especially on this difficulty level. So I'm gonna go with the exploding... Hmm. Or maybe I'll go towards the delusion first so I can have more options during conversations. Yeah, we'll go there first. So we acquire it and then we have to put that ability into a slot to actually let it go into effect. So that's that. Um... I think you can also... Wow. That's a lot of manuscripts. And a book. Let's check this out as well, if I can't craft anything else. 
Ah, uh, doesn't seem like it. What do I need for cat? Water essence. Is it cursed oil? Wolfsbane. So we found one outside this alchemy shop already. We need three more. And the book? Probably just something... Best here. A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead, or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet unlike the necromancers in doing so, they are not driven by reason and will, but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing or wrath. Very often these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual while he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favorite toys or the instrument used for the crime which they sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. So this uh, affirmates the story we had from the moon raid which had that bracelet tying her to the real word, world. So I think we could talk to Tamira about the noon rate as well. Yes. There we have it, Claire. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. So going deeper into the story has its own rewards. Thank you, Tamira. Who saw Peter? Wait, I can make bombs! Or not. Seriously? I lost all the ceiling Dean I had. Got them. Okay. In a minute then. And more fruits apparently. Wow. Got a lot of stuff. Maybe I should check with her if she has yes. any more. Yeah, there we have it. Got any herbs you're willing Recipes, to sell? Recipes maybe. I'm sure I can find something. Hmm. That's all pretty expensive. Water essence is 149 orange cheeses. Okay, so wait. Not using... Regenerate vitality, that's cool though. I'll get that. Uh, maybe the white go. I'm gonna hold that on that and then let's see what I can sell to her. Got a lot of these things. Silver, amber, and necklace can be sold for a significant sum or dismantled into crafting components. That's. I'm gonna keep hold on to that for now. Honeycomb. Wait, she wanted that, right? I'm gonna give that to her. The rest I'm gonna keep. Oh, I can go straight into alchemy here. So nothing of the new stuff I can make. Wow. Nope, nope. 
How expensive is that calcium aquin? She has some. Ooh, no thank you. Farewell. So that's that. I'm gonna take a break here after our dealings with the herbalist. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.